Wow, you built that? Huh, maybe give it another shot? A uh, third time's the charm? Um, let's take a break to answer a letter. Dear Rita and Moby, I'm terrible at math. Why can't I be good at it like my friends? From Gabby. Hey Gabby, I'm sorry to hear you're struggling with math. That can be tough, especially when it feels like everyone else is having an easier time. The good news is, you can learn. Everyone can. People learn new things all the time. Instruments, languages, uh, woodworking. Even a math whiz once had to learn the stuff that seems easy now. Because our abilities aren't fixed. They change over time. It's backed by brain science. Well, your brain is made up of billions of cells called neurons. They process all kinds of information, like things you see, taste, and hear. And they help you learn new things, from riding a bike to doing long division. They do that by forming pathways between things you already know and new information. You can think of these pathways like a network of trails in the woods. There are the trails you already know. You've walked them lots of times. You don't get lost on them, because you know the way almost automatically. But if you want to get someplace else, you'll have to forge a new trail. Now, it's rarely totally new. Maybe it connects to a bit of an old trail. Still, it'll probably be hard at first. You'll have to clear away branches and debris, but it'll get easier over time. It's like that with the brain. The more you practice a new skill, the stronger and thicker those neural pathways will grow, until eventually you know how to do it. The opposite is true, too. Neglect a trail, and it'll start to disappear as the forest takes it back. And stop practicing a new skill, and the neural pathway will thin, too. It might make sense sometimes to move on, but keep giving up or avoiding new things, and that's what you'll learn. It can be tough to get out of that rut. Well, it helps to adopt the right attitude. Not just being patient and kind to yourself when you're trying something new, though that stuff is important, but adjusting your whole way of thinking. When you declare that you're bad, or good, or so-so at something, that's a fixed mindset. It's like saying your abilities can't change because they're a part of who you are. But the truth is, Success at anything is about more than just talent. It takes effort, too. A growth mindset boils down to a simple idea. You can learn. If you find yourself thinking, I can't, or I don't, try adding the word yet. So, I can't figure this out, or I don't know how to skate, becomes, I can't figure this out yet. Or, I don't know how to skate yet. Oh yeah, you'll definitely make mistakes along the way. Just like you'd probably get lost sometimes while forging new trails in the woods. Mistakes are actually a key part of the learning process. You literally can't improve without them. So, when you mess up, instead of beating yourself up or giving up, go over what happened. Ask yourself, what did you do so far? Where did it go off track? And how could you try something different next time? Also, if you need help, ask for it. No one's expecting you to figure everything out on your own. That's why schools have teachers. Well, learning happens over time, and it's rarely a straight path. It takes lots and lots of trying and trying and trying again. So it isn't always obvious when you are learning. It can help to pay attention to your progress, however slow or small. Say you're learning Spanish. Think back to last month, or the previous one. Remember how hard it once was to express something in the past tense? Now it's easier. That's learning! You could also try tracking your progress. Jot down, say, how fast you do your multiplication tables week by week or record yourself playing the same song on the piano day after day. 
even if your improvements are little, you'll notice them and can feel proud. And you'll be motivated to keep at it. Here's another motivator. Now is the perfect time to learn and hone new skills. When we're young. Early in life, our brains are especially dense with neurons, primed to learn. Score for the kids! Uh, sure. Now is a good time for robots to learn, too. Ready to try again? Whoa, what kind of bird is that for?